Hi guys, back on to do some more of the envelope journal. It's going to be a long one, this one. I reckon we'll get up to like 50 episodes or something. Joking, bit of an exaggeration, but the way I'm going. <laughs> anyway, so I finished off sewing the top on the tag. I know when um, on the video last night, I hadn't put the topper on the tag. So I've done that and then sew on the two writing spots that I need for the first page because I didn't have ones big enough. So I'm just going to trim them. Don't mind my messy sewing. I'm not very good. Not that that matters. I mean, you can leave some of the thread on if you like that look, but for this project, I want to cut them off. All right, next thing I need to do is, um, I just used some of this old paper. Usually I use tea or coffee dyed paper, but um, I just grabbed what was close and used some of this vintage paper that I got from the secondhand shop and it's a little bit bright. So I've got to ink around that before I stick it where I'm going to stick it. So I'm just gonna go around it. I've got to be a bit careful with this paper because it is a bit brittle. Go around the edges. I don't know if you can hear that. It's just started pouring down. Been very wet, which is probably good because it was like spring for about a week or two. So to have some um, rain is good. But I'm looking forward to it stopping so I can get out in the garden over the weekend, hopefully. So I'm enjoying doing this again, especially seeing other people getting into it and um, getting excited by it and uh, their different takes on it. Alright, they're looking better now. So we want to put this one on the back of our tag here. Let's trim it a little bit better than that. There. So that'll just sit on there. Just gonna make sure that tops are ready to go. Let's see, is it kind of come out? Yes. So it was shopping day today, so my mum and I went and did the shopping together. She wanted to take bottles out um, and check the hardware store, so that's right next to where the Adra Op shop is. So I did duck in there. I was gifted a little bit of money for my birthday with instructions to use it at the op shop, so I did not argue with that. All right, so that's a tag all finished now. Love it. So put that in in a minute. So what we're going to do is try and finish these pages. So the other big spot I did will be going here. So I did do a stamp of a typewriter on this. So I'll grab, now where did I put my other stamps that I might want to use? I dumped everything, well not everything obviously because I can't find them in here. I've got a um, tub next to me that's got a whole lot of stuff that was on the desk because I had to move it while I did a video. Now I made a big mess with all my video stuff. I could have prepared myself but you know it wouldn't be me if I had done that. Um, I'm 
those steps? They should be. Hang on. Do I have more under there? There they are. Oh. <laughs> Just dropping everything. So I uh, use this Kaiser Craft typewriter. I might use the phone this time for something different. I haven't used many of my stamps, so it's good to go through and try them all out. Grab my stamp block. Let's move that. Oh. So not with it today. It's from all my exercise at the gym yesterday. That was fun. Um, I did tell the people in my group, but I might as well tell you so you can have a laugh at me. It was my first um, effort at the gym last night. <laughs> so I was doing the um, class that's a bit of a mix of Pilates, yoga and Tai Chi. Now, I haven't exercised for a long time. I used to be really fit when I was young, but um, yeah, I'm not now. And I'm, you know, quite overweight and <laughs> thought I'd better do something about it, go to the gym. So I thought, give it a go. You know, I'm pretty brave. <laughs> I'm determined. So I go in there and the, where we're actually doing the class was in the equipment room where all the buff blokes are in there doing their weights and stuff. And I thought, oh no, that's going to be embarrassing. So I'm in, just starting my first exercise and I fall over. <laughs> so that was slightly embarrassing. <laughs> And then um, I got about halfway through this session and I started feeling like I was going to vomit. <laughs> so I had to stop um, and go and sit on the exercise bike for a while until I felt a bit better. And then I managed to join back in. I did not quit. I joined back in and I managed to finish it. But yeah, <laughs> I will get there. I am very determined, but it's, yeah, it's, it's going to be hard. <laughs> Considering that was just the year. I thought yoga and Pilates and Tai Chi was meant to be like relaxing. Anyway, <laughs> do it again on Saturday. So wish me luck. Um, yeah, so wait, I was a bit sore when I got up this morning. So we'll put our little, oh, that's gonna, let me just get my fine tip glue to stick that down a bit better. It's brittle paper, this. And I never stick to the edges with my Hellman's glue enough. Just gotta be careful, I think, when I'm putting it in and out. Should be a bit better. I think it's called like body balance or something in the class I'm doing, and I'll tell you why I have no balance. I used to because I used to dance, so my balance used to be really good, but um, yeah, it's not anymore, obviously. So I'll slip that in. Got our lady in the window, looking good. And that's the other tag we did yesterday. And so now, a little bit wide isn't it but oh well because on the other one you see some of the notes although i can like put it even over a bit it wouldn't hurt it doesn't look too bad bit of interest and then we can still see some notes on that side because where i've got it in here you can see the music paper both sides but it doesn't have to be centered all the time so i might put it over this way so i will stick that down next
right, and then we put on, or well, I put on, I should say, um, just a little bit of frayed material underneath one of the dates from the book. Now, you obviously don't have the same book, so any bit of interest from a book, a title or anything, a word that you have, just something or nothing if you just want to leave it as a writing spot. But I know I did have some of the dates. So let me just grab his one. So I'm just going to rip around this. And then we will ink that because we ink everything. While I've got this brown stuff, I might just use some of that and it matches with the tag. Something different, quick and easy. Just cutting a little bit of that off. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Moving everything. Make sure I have it where you can see me. the edges apparently there was a mini tornado um, either yesterday or the day before somewhere down near Adelaide that caused a fair bit of damage that would have been a bit scary I don't usually have that type of weather occurrence nicely frayed. Now I'm going to keep these bits too because I'll probably use them somewhere. So I'm going to do this video. Hopefully I can upload it because my YouTube doesn't seem to want to upload anything. I will try again in a minute though. And then I've got to go on my son's Beat Saber because I'm not going to the gym today. So, and that's good exercise for my arms that is. It's good fun. So I'm going to have a go on that and have some dinner. And then I've got to get on with the challenges, group challenges that I still haven't started yet. done now the next thing we want to do is find a picture to put up the top here some good new pictures I've got this one does it might be a bit big is it looks really big I could cut it down if I want to I'll just see if I've got a I kind of like this one better I reckon so I'm just gonna take my tag out for now cut this picture down This is Swanson, Swanston Street in Melbourne. So I'm sure some of you watching might know where that is. Back in 1920, whenever. So I 
Again, ink. I ink all the pictures that sign pretty well. Ooh, that's dark. Overboard with my ink to begin with, but oh well. Do I care? Not really. Alright, so I'll stick that on. that page done and then we can put our tag back in now so with this page we have a picture that I have sewed around so I'm gonna have to sew around one of the pictures for down here then we've got stamping. That was a part of one of the dates because it broke off. So I'll find another date bit. I've got a stamp, a bit of material, and I used some cotton just under here, just for something to do, and a bit of your coloured book page. So stamping I did after I stuck down the papers by the look. But I mean, we could do it at any stage. I think I'll find the date that I want to use. Got one here we can use. It's 1928 again. But that's all right. So that one looks like it's just been cut squared, which I actually quite like. It doesn't matter if the bottom's ripped a bit like that because um, we're going to sort of cover over the bottom anyway. You know, I tend to, when I'm doing these projects, put my big pictures down or whatever, and then I look at the scraps I've got and just go, okay, I'll just stick a bit of this and that there. And it's very junky, but it's good to use up the scrappy bits. So that's basically what I did here. Now, I have this stamp, another AliExpress one, which is sort of like a ledger or something with all these numbers. And that, and so I just did a partial stamp of that up the top there. Now I'm not worried about making sure I get it inked up properly and that, I don't mind if it's a bit rough. I don't want it down there though, <laughs> but that's all right. It'll live. <laughs> Didn't stick too well to me block. <laughs> there we go. That'll do. Doesn't matter. <laughs> That'd be a disaster <laughs> if it wasn't for making this scrappy thing. So it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's 
stupid AliExpress stamps. All right, now. This is on my book page. Still in here. Oh, have I put it elsewhere? I think I saw it while I was packing up. It's not under there. Got some other coloured stuff there that I'll probably do. Stick to the sort of browner tones. Oh, decisions. This one's a bit glossy, so we'll use this one, I think. So I'm just going to rip. Oh, it's interesting texture, this one. I'm just ripping a bit that goes, that will stick down like that. It's a bit thicker than, see I did that bit across there. I mean, I like the dark stuff, but I can't find it at the moment. I don't know why. You can use whatever you've got, it doesn't have to be all the same. Now, I put that down and then I put my little um, stamp and material in between those areas. So I think we'll go about there. It sort of brings this together with that as well, which makes it look not so bad. Now I will ink around the edges. I'll just add a bit of a darker defining color. So I hope you're all going okay and fit and healthy. And all your loved ones are fit and healthy too. All right, so now we want fabric and I'll just get my stamp album. And remember which one has my yeah this one will do I did do Australian stamps since I think are they all Australian pictures in this I think they are I don't know if this is the right album oh hang on yes it is so I need to sort out all my stamps again let's do one of the not that the Queen's Australian, but it is an Australian stamp. I'm just thinking, do we want or do we want one? I think we'll use that one. Now, fabric. I could use the same dark brown stuff that I've been using. Just see what I have in here. Don't know if I have many browns. That's not really what I want. I mean, we have some just calico stuff. We have some, even some of that might do. Oh, here's some tan. Just keep them out. So I've got like this bit, which I can cut down a bit. Yeah, I think we'll just use this. Everything sticking to everything. And cut that down a tad. there. And then I'll, I'll put a bit of colour on 
this as well. Especially just around the edges. It makes it look a bit dirty and old. Got a um, Singapore noodles. It's one of them ready meals or whatever from Coles, but they're actually quite nice, these ones. So I'm going to have that for tea. I went to get sushi for my son for lunch since I was out and about, and uh, the Woolworth sushi here is really good. So I grabbed myself some, um, they do a nice salad with all your greens and um, teriyaki chicken. So that was a nice. Nice lunch. I think I'll set that a bit. So, let's glue my stamp on first. So yeah, have some dinner after. Maybe after I've done Beat Saber. My son was quite surprised at how good I am at this game. It's a rhythm game where all these blocks come at you and they have arrows to which way you've got to hit them, like down or up or sideways or whatever. It's a bit of good exercise for the arms. It looks funny though, because I watched my son plan it and it looks like he's swatting flies. So we have a good laugh at each other. But he, he must have thought I'd be absolutely hopeless at it. Definitely nowhere near as good as him, that's for sure. But he has too much time to do it, so. All right, so that's that part. So the last thing I have to do for this page is find a picture for the bottom and sew around it. So, drag out all my pictures again. And So it's one that's longish and that we might need to, that one will be nice with the cars, I reckon, because uh, we can cut that down quite easily without losing much of the important stuff on there. And then I did put a title over it. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. It says British Fleet there. I know that's probably something about ships. I might just put British Fleet on here. Why not? like it's a fleet of cars <laughs> whether you use that term or not I don't care that's what I'm gonna do almost going to fit, I reckon, without having to cut it down. It's pretty good on there. I might just cut down one of the edges just a tad. Like that. So now what I'm going to do is ink that and the little title that we'll put on somewhere. Maybe down there or something. And then I'm going to just do a straight stitch around the picture. And then we can put it on. Up. 
All right, so I'm just gonna go sew that and then I'll be back to whack it on. All righty, so I have sewed around it. <laughs> my sewing went all right and then it just went off, off the paper for some reason. Wasn't my fault. <laughs> so I'm gonna stick that on there now. Open my glue might help. All right, so I think that is it. Oh, hang on, no, it's not. Just as I thought I was going good. So in here I have stuck some ledger paper, so, or just some lined paper by the look, some vintage lined paper, so you can stick whatever you want in your little pocket here. But what I haven't done is, there's this little bit of off cut of lace stuff there. So we'll find something to put down here and then we'll be done. So let me find my lace off cut, see if I've got anything that can run down the bottom there. I don't know if I have anything long enough. I've got this which I could ink up. Shouldn't be too bad. Um, what else do I have? I don't think any of that's long. Let's see what's under here. I do have this. It's a bit frilly though. I think I want something that sits flatter than that. some of this, I might just use that and I'll just ink it a bit so it looks a bit darker. And just, oh hang on, that's doubled over, that's all right, we can just cut it down. So I don't think, no, I don't want it double, I don't want the whole piece. So I'm just gonna go along and cut this in the middle. get it to the length I want. Cut it off about there, I reckon. Now, I just want to figure out which way I want it. Frilly bits down or frilly bits up? Frilly bits down. up a fair bit and then it will fit in a bit better. Oh, I know there's something else I forgot to do too, which I, I might be able to rectify afterwards. It's doing well. <laughs> so I'm just going to try and put a light coat of glue along here.
lace down there. Now, what I did last time, which I showed you, I think, and then completely forgot to do, I'll just lift this up a bit, was I stuck some cotton that I had lying around, just under, around here. So I do have this bit. How much do we want, though? I could almost stick the whole thing under there. But I do like just having a few little fronds sticking out. So what I'll do is just put a bit of glue under there. So I'm not sticking out as much as I wanted, but I'm pull them out a little bit. Don't matter though, because it's just having something little. I'll separate them a bit, that's a bit better. I've gone and lost them again. If that worked too well, but you get my meaning anyway. The ones I put on the other paper were sort of curly bits, so. And they drag them out a bit. There we go, and that'll do, and that's a bit better. Alrighty, so now we've finished that page. I don't think it looks too bad. That's the original without the tag which is somewhere around here. And this is what we've done today. So tomorrow, or when I next get a chance, which will hopefully be tomorrow, but I can't make too many promises, we will do this flip out page. So it's a bit of work in that one, but it'll be fun. So I hope you're having fun doing this and take care of yourselves and I will see you again soon. Bye.